Hello everyone, this is Imran Namo and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video training, I will just talk about internal CSS. From the past video, you could learn how I used inline CSS to style this HTML file. But today, you will see how I style this HTML file using using internal CSS. Okay, let's open both these two files on Google Chrome. Here goes the internal CSS and let's open the inline css file and here goes it okay i just open two both two files i just open both two files on the browser because i would like to show you the difference of inline css and internal css and i'll write the same code using internal css okay firstly i'll change the background style here and before I style, I would like to show you how we can write internal CSS. In the past video, we could know that we write inline CSS in the HTML tag. But here, in case of internal CSS, we will write the CSS in the header section. Okay. Here is the HTML document and we will just write the head section open head section and close head section you must find any html file with this head section okay here inside the head section we will write a style element and close the style element And you can also add type attribute equal type will be text slash CSS. Okay, it's good. And inside this style element, we will write internal CSS. Okay, we will write internal CSS in, in the head section inside the style element element and in case of inline css we will write inside the element okay with the style attribute that's the difference now uh, here you can see the body background color is white just we will make it black or make any color just brown color like this okay we will make it brown so first of all we will write body and why we write body because we are going to target the body of this file just the whole body so we will write body element and left curly brace and right curly brace just hit here to make some space and i'm going to write some html declaration and i'm going to write some css declaration okay just First of all, background color will be 343434 and reload this page. Here you can see the change of the background color. So it's easy to use internal CSS rather than the inline CSS for the inline CSS we had to write this code to change the background color but it's easy to use in the internal CSS okay we are going to just change the color again ed okay reload the page again here goes it so we just targeted the body and we can change the font size to any four pixel then it will affect all this space just reload it you can see the font size is increased 
now you can change the font color just color and name of the color anything what should i read just red in case of testing purpose reload this page it's red okay so it's easy but i'm just going to make it black so if you want to target any element and style it say for example i'm just going to style this heading element so what i'll do just come here as it is a declaration block i'm just going to start again how i will start just i'm going to target this heading element so it's a html json tag i'm just going to get this tag json tag and right left curly brace from the keyboard and right right curly brace and come inside and hit enter to make some space and now you are ready to write css what do you want to do if just you want to change the color just come here it's easy to do right color and since the color name will be tomato just refresh just save the file refresh the document and you see the color is changed okay whatever you have hundreds of html element okay it's enough just reload it and see the changes actually if you write internal css of any element just say for example json you will just have to write once in the heading section then it will affect all the same element okay if i change it to h2 just say for example h2 now reload this page and you can see it did not work on it because it's h2 okay if i going to make it to h3 H3, H4, I'm not going to write all of them, okay, then here you can see the changes, it only affects the same element and if I want to write here just H2 and left curly brace, right curly brace and hit enter again. I'm just going to write color and color will be blue the color should be blue I just like it and now save this file and reload here and now you can see the color is blue for the H2 heading element because I targeted H2 in this way i can target h3 h4 h6 whatever h3 h3 i'm just going to do something else just change the background color background color red and color black okay let's see what happens so you can see only this element is h3 and h3 h4 and h6 and it got the css i assigned for it okay so uh, actually inline css is complicated because you will have to write code inside here and but it work only for the 
specific element okay now i'm just going to change the style of this list element i did not work for this one because i hope you can understand how to work with it i'm just going to target the list element okay open up the file now the name of the tag is ul i'm just going to write ul and left curly brace right curly brace come inside here i'm just going to change the list style i don't want this bullet point so i'm just going to write list style none now you see they are gone okay i can write color okay you see the color is yellow in the same way if i want to style this paragraph using internal css what i'll have to do just one rule in in terms of just one rule for internal css if you want to target any style if you want to just one way to work with css in case of internal css just get the html tag name p and right left calibres right calibres and go inside it and write whatever css property you want you want to change the font family just write font family and i'm just going to like tahoma okay i'm just going to see the changes you see tahoma and font size thirty four pixel here goes it and if you are a very beginner you might be confused how how I got this font size thirty four pixel you will just get it just through the course I'm just going to run and it's the value for the font size you can make it less or more to increase the font size and i'm just going to make it border on pixel solid green here you see okay it's just the video tutorial for all about how to write internal css okay so uh, that was all about the paragraph now if you want to style this link then you can also do that just write and make sure you are going to write inside the style element here goes it inside the style element and the style element will go inside the header section before the close of head tag okay and write a and the same way text decoration none okay it's gone and you can add margin 40 pixel we are going to use margin bottom 
or mar all over the margin just what will do it will just make some space around the element okay it will make a space of 40 pixel around this anchor tag just save it now refresh it okay now i'm just going to style this image so just target the image tag here and write some css what i'll do i'll just manage the height and width of this image okay image height Four hundred pixel width four fifty pixel or six fifty pixel. Here goes it, and I'm just going to write if you want to see, just I'm going to make it a smaller make it smaller just reload this page you see the changes and i'm just going to write margin bottom two hundred pixel just save this page reload it and you see a space between the image because i wrote margin bottom Now uh, you can add border, border, five pixel solid, and name of the color red. Reload it. Here goes it. Okay. The main purpose of this video was to show you how to write internal CSS. You might be confused about what is margin bottom, what is border, what is width height. That's not the fact for this video. You just follow this up and in the next videos, I will just come up with more details about these properties and values. So if this video was helpful for you to learn CSS, please like it and share it and subscribe to the channel to get the notification for the upcoming videos. Thank you for watching.